Hi there. Welcome to the Legally Blind Geek YouTube channel. My name is Mike. On this channel, we focus on overcoming low vision challenges. Question of the day. What is the best headphones for someone with low vision, visually impaired, that relies on voiceover on Apple devices? In this video, we're going to take a pretty detailed look at two of my favorites that I've come to trust. One is the AirPods Pro 2 with a USB-C char charging cable. And then the second one is the old AirPods Max. Yes, these are the ones that, that right now this audio has been recorded on. And they are the ones that charge with a lightning cable. And there are good deals to be had on these. Are they worth the cost? Should you go ahead and wait for the new ones that are coming out that really the only difference is be charged with a USB-C cable? That's for you to decide, but first, check out the information we had to share in this video. I think you're going to find it interesting. We're talking about the best headphones for Apple users. The, my favorites are AirPods Max. Talk about that in a little bit here. And then what I've got in my ears right now is the AirPod Pro 2. And it does come in the nice little case that everybody's seen. And it does have the USB-C charging port. And I am running the latest uh, firmware. One of the things that a lot of people talk about is comfort, battery life, cost, and how do these things work? How well do they work? Well, this is being recorded using the mics on the AirPods Pro 2. The intro was using the mics on the iPads Max, and that's the, the older version with the lightning cord charging cable. You know, one of the questions that I asked was, are those a good deal? Right now, you can get them pretty, pretty reasonable. They're, they're under $500, and if you go with something new, refurbished, whatever the verbiage is, wherever you look at, I've got a link in the Amazon, and I've got a link to an Amazon link for Read Nude that's under $400, which I think is a, a really good deal. And I've tried the Read Nude, refurbished stuff in the past. I don't really see any difference in them. You know, oh, yeah, of course, they don't come in the original packaging. Okay. They may have a little scratch here or there, but for the most part, they work, and they work as they are supposed to, which, in my view, is more important than anything else. Style may be your thing. Me, it's all about function. So why are the Apple AirPods the best headphones for an Apple user? Apple ecosystem. You can go from listening to something or watching something on your iPad, put it down, go to your Apple TV, and the AirPods will just automatically transfer from one device to the other. No pushing the buttons, no running through menus, no looking for Bluetooth here, Bluetooth there, and all that kind of stuff. It takes a couple of seconds. As soon as it senses that you have left one device, set it off, turn it off, put it to sleep or whatever, and picked it up on another device, whether it's your iPhone to iPad, iPad to iPhone, to Apple TV, to your Mac computer. It all works seamlessly. In my experience, it works, works really well, especially indoors. Everything's Bluetooth. You know, they're connecting via Bluetooth. So as long as you're close enough to your device, and I guess even for those that have their Apple Watch set up for, you know, cell service, data plan, or that kind of stuff, you might be able to get some enjoyment out of it that way, too. It just depends on how much room you got on your phone, what app you've got on your phone, because it is going to be a Bluetooth connection. You have to have this and these pretty close to one another for it to work. But it works. Comfort, for me, if I'm just doing things out in the garden for a few minutes, you know, a half an hour, an hour or so, the AirPods Pro 2 work pretty good. Now, if I'm doing something pretty strenuous where I'm moving around, bouncing around up and down or stuff like that, or working on a lawnmower, moving this way and that way, 
a lot of times the AirPods Pro 2s will work out of my ears. And they do have the silicone tips. I do use the, the bigger ones. I guess they've got big ears. But that's one of the things that I have noticed with them. And I have had to stop the mower, get off the mower, and say, oh, my goodness, where did that thing go? And it, usually it's just right here close. So I haven't lost any yet, but I can see how that could be a problem, how that could be an issue. In that respect, the uh, AirPods Max, they go over your ears. They fit really snugly. In my view, they're better with noise cancellation. They they do a better job of quieting those background noises almost, not entirely, but <laughs> they, they, they pair it back a lot so that you can both hear what's going on in the earphones. If you want to listen to music or you want to listen to your favorite podcast, the AirPods Max work really well for that. In addition to that, the AirPods Max has a better battery life. I, primarily, I use those indoors simply because when I'm sitting in front of the computer, I may sit here and do some research and writing some script or shooting some videos or editing videos or whatever I might be doing. And I may be here for four or five hours at a time. The AirPods Pro 2s, the battery life isn't that good. A couple hours, two and a half hours, that's all I can get out of them. The AirPod Max, on the other hand, I can work on them. I can work with them all day. And then I just take them off when I'm done, slide them in the little case, plug the USB or the USB to lightning into the charging port, set them on the desk. Next day when I go to pick them up, they're ready for another day's work. Couldn't be simpler. So the differences in one versus the other cost wise. You can go on Amazon, you can pick up the AirPods Pro 2s. It's got the active noise cancellation, transparency mode, and those good things. And as you can hear the speaker quality, this is how it would sound if you were trying to make a phone call. And I'm recording this video right now just to illustrate that you can do that with these. Whether you're recording on your phone like I am, or you're using your continuity camera like I am connected to my MacBook Pro, this is how it all works together. No wires, no fuss, no muss. As long as everything's logged into the same Wi-Fi account, Bluetooth, you know, the iCloud account, all that kind of stuff is all copacetic. It just works. So under 200 bucks, I think you can get these at Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description down below. Under 190 bucks, maybe $180, somewhere in there. They're running deals all the time. And it's a good buy. It really is. For what you get, it's a good buy. And, um, you know, these are not something that you're going to have to replace all the time unless you lose them. The AirPods that I replaced with these were, well, when the first, when iPad Pro, or when the AirPod Pro first came out, I got a set of them. They quit. Well, they didn't quit. I forgot. I left them in the, my pant pocket. I ran them through the washer. When I pulled them out of the washer, the case was open. The AirPods were scattered around in the laundry. I did find them, but for some reason, they just don't like to work anymore. They will try to work, but they just don't. So I had to replace them. So don't do like I did. Don't forget to leave them in your pocket, run them through the washer. They're not going to hold up to that. Downside? Yeah. Stupid on my part? Yeah. So I'd love to hear what you think, though. Do you have any experience with these or other earbuds or headsets that you like? I know a lot of people like the Sony. Tried them. Didn't really like them. I like the functionality of the AirPods. I like the way that you can just tap on the stem or you can set this one up for one set of features, this one up for another set of features, auto answer calls. And now with the latest and greatest firmware, you can just nod your head. Yeah, I want to take the phone call or no, I don't want to take the phone call. And it, it senses that and it does that other ones out there may do that i'm just not aware of them so hey let me know in the comment section right below this down here what you think what you use and what kind of questions that you might have sound good so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna get these out of my ears and we're gonna set up and i'm gonna let you hear what it sounds like when i go back to my road microphone okay 
Okay, here we go. To recap, a little bit of a comparison here. What do you think about the audio? Is it better on the first section where I did it with the AirPod Max? The second section that I did with the audio being recorded on the AirPods Pro 2? Or the Rode lapel going into the Rode Wireless Go? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Now, for the comparison. Let's start about comfort. Comfort, the over the ear with the AirPod Maxes, I think are good. I like them. Some people complain, complain about the funny little case. It doesn't seem to bother me so much. You know, one of the things people don't talk about, or they do, is how easy it is to replace the, the cups. If the cups wear out, if you tear one up or something like that, these are available from Apple. You can replace those. And they just snap on and off, just like such magnets hold them in place. Couldn't be easier. So these are a, a premium device. They are. And, you know, they have the um, digital crown here, which I kind of like. Along with the other little button over, I, I, I like tactile buttons. I'm not so much with the swipe up and down or on the side or whatever on the case like Sony's and some of the others do. That just doesn't work that well for me. So when I've got them on, and, and now active cancellation, let's turn that off. So then I go to the transparency mode. And basically what I do to make that work is I just simply push this button, I hear a tone, and now it's in transparency mode. I can hear everything that's going on around me. Maybe even better than with my naked ear. I do hear a little bit of hiss in the background. Maybe that's got to do with volume or something, I'm not sure. Digital crown, I kind of like it because I can just find the bottom of it with my thumb, find the digital crown with my finger, and I can move my finger back and forth, just slide my finger back and forth, and it'll turn the volume up and down. I can push down on it, do the Siri, I can do all that kind of stuff right here, no fuss, no muss. I kind of like that. When I'm done with it, I take them off, I slide them in the little case, little magnetic closure, there you go. Does it look like Mickey Mouse ears? I don't know, you tell me. Other than that, the sound quality is top notch. I've listened to a lot of lessers. I've listened to a lot of the competitors, and for me, I'm an old guy. I remember what AM radio sounded like, and then they came out with AM stereo, and then FM and stereo, and all this kind of stuff, and cassette players, and reel-to-reels, and CD players, so we've listened to all that evolution, you know, especially those of us that are suffering from like an age-related vision loss issue. We've been around for a bit. We, we know what we like to hear. To me... I like hearing the AirPod Max. I like the way it fits around my ear, not on my ear or in my ear, which for an extended period of time, that is more comfortable to me. And with the additional 20 hours or so that they advertise battery life, with the active noise cancellation on or transparency mode on or using the microphones and doing like we're doing right here, recording the audio or whatnot, they work just fine. If I want to sit in the front room and watch television and listen to it while the, the wife does something on her iPad, I can do that. I can sit there and see it on the big screen. I can listen to my AirPods Max, comfortable, hear all the little sounds, the separation, the stereo and all that stuff. Good. Is it studio quality? I don't know what studio, studio quality really is. Never had that set of cans on my head, but... You audio files out there. If that's what you want, that's what you want. Okay? For all of us normal folks that just want to have something we put on our head that's comfortable, that works day in and day out, you can't go wrong with the AirPod Max. Now, the AirPods Pro 2, they are a lot more convenient. You can stick those in a shirt pocket. As long as you don't bend over, as long as you don't leave them in your shirt pocket and you throw it in the laundry and you wash them, not a good idea. You're golden. You take them out. You plop them in your ear. 
and you're, you're ready to go. Battery life. If I take these to the ballpark, I volunteer. And yes, a legally blind guy, I can operate some equipment. I just do it smart. I use the mowers in areas that I know where everything's at. So I don't run into things that I shouldn't run into with a lawnmower. But I use these for the noise cancellation. And it helps me to also keep up with things that are going on. Because while I'm out there at the ballpark, I get the mower running and everything's making a big noise. I've got these in. If I'm just listening to one of my audio books to pass the time, they do really good for that. In addition to that, somebody sends me a phone call or sends me a text, like if I'm out there at the ballpark and there's Alert three or four of us out there. Notifications. Respond to Siri by moving your head. Hush, hush, hush. But if we are out there at the ballpark, three or four of us doing different tasks and they want to communicate to me via text, they send me a quick text, I get a notification. It'll listen. I can listen to the text. It'll play the text. I can also respond without every without ever taking my phone out of my pocket. I can just do it by clicking the little stems, answer a call, or take a text, send a message, whatever, Siri, whatever I want to do. They're easy to use. Downside to them, they will fall out of your ears if you're getting bounced around a whole lot, like if you're on a tractor or something like that, and you're bounced around, they will come loose. They will fall out of your ears. Battery life, I wish the battery life was better, but, you know, for a couple hours or so, when the battery gives me the tone, all my voiceover things are going off. When they give me that little tone like, hey, your battery is low, you need to do something, it's probably a good suggestion for me, shut down the mower, get off, go tinkle, hydrate, take a snack, put them in the case, leave them in the case for 15, 20 minutes while I'm getting a snack or going to the bathroom or whatever. They charge back up to 75, 80%. That's enough to finish that outing. That's enough to finish what I'm doing outside. So I have both. If you had to choose one or the other, find out which, just be honest with yourself. What am I going to be doing that I need these in my ear? If you're working out in the garage on some DIY stuff or you're working out in the garden with some DIY stuff, you're only going to be out there for a little bit. These may be the way to go. If you're sitting inside the house, you want to relax, and you want to binge your favorite episodes of whatever it is you're wanting to watch on television, AirPod Max, I tell you, is the best way to go. Just absolutely is the best way to go. But these are my opinions, and they're based on solely me using them and being, you know, part of the Apple ecosystem. So you might be different. You may have different requirements. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section down below. Please, if you have a question or if you have an experience that you'd like to share, or if you think I'm just asked backwards wrong, let me know in the comments section. If you get some enjoyment out of this, entertainment, good information, give us a thumbs up. On the other hand, if you don't like it, give us a thumbs down. It's all good. Check out the description for some helpful links that will help you get a good deal on these products. I've done the shopping for you. doesn't cost you a thing. You just click on the Amazon link in the description down below. If you buy something, I'll make a small commission. Thank you for your support. I could really use your support, but I understand money's tight. If you can't afford it, you can't afford it. Catch you in the next one. Thank you very much. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. And you might want to go ahead and check out Whoa, wait a minute. Yeah, right over. Yeah, right, right here. This video. I think you'll find it useful. Bye.